Yes, I'm here with Simon Easterby. Simon, a little bit of a change of foot. Um, the Scarlets have named you now as head coach next season. Your initial reaction, I suppose. Really. Yeah, delighted to be offered the role, uh, and um, you know, really looking forward to uh, taking on from where Nigel left off, really, and, and um, putting my own stamp on on uh, the Scarlets and and what we'll hopefully achieve in, in the future. Fantastic Scarlet's credentials, first as a player, I think 201 games, 19 tries, then as player coach, then on to defence coach. What does this place and this club mean to you? I mean, it's been a huge part of your life already. Your it career. has, you know, it's been um, you know, the biggest part of my professional career and, and uh, its, uh, its success and continued uh, success is, is what drives me and motivates me. and. Been given the opportunity after playing to, to coach uh, and now to to go on to uh, take the head coach role it is um, it, it proves a couple of things that the succession plans are, are working and and the club and the board in particular have, have confidence in me to take things forward um, and hopefully with my history here at the club as a player and as a coach uh, it allows us to move forward with uh, with a real uh, excitement. Um, but also keeping that scarlet culture right, you know, in, in the heart of, of this club. And a word about your outgoing head coach. Obviously, you worked with Nigel for a number of years as well. Yeah, played under Nigel, um, and also uh, worked alongside him on the coaching. And uh, it's a disappointment for the club because he put ourselves in in a great position. Uh, but he's been given an op another opportunity to go and further himself. Um, you know, I'd like to thank him personally because he's given me my first coaching role uh, in rugby, and, and uh, you know I've uh, I've had a huge support from him uh, as of the other young coaches over the last couple of seasons. Um, and I suppose in some ways he feels the time is right for him to move on, and he feels confident that we can take on the the, the work that he's uh, put into place so far in the last few years. He's always stressed that you work very much as a group. Um, and you, you know, and that obviously continues still. Well, obviously, we've got Danny Wilson coming in, but Mark is, is skills coach as well, and some great backup staff that you've got to take this forward. Yeah, the foundations are most certainly there. Um, and although we're losing uh, Nigel and, and he's he's moving on, um, there's plenty within that group that can step up. And obviously, you know, we're bringing in Danny, and, and we hope to uh, complete the signings of a, a couple of new players as well to. To take us uh, to where we feel this club belongs, and, and uh, that's competing at the, the top end of the European game and competing for honours on the domestic uh, competitions as well. It's been a sort of near miss almost season this last season. You know, very very close in terms of the playoffs for the league. You know, some great great wins in the Heineken. How are you taking over now next season? How do you see it? I mean, there's some great players for you to work with. You know, everything's here really to, to push it forward. It must be really exciting the challenge for you now. Yeah, it is. It's, I mean, it's exciting when you look at the players we have available to us and the, you know, the, those players that are at our disposal. Um, and, and our challenge as a, as a coaching group is to uh, make sure that um, there's no or very little uh, gap between our best players and our weakest players. And I think in, in any uh, group, in any structure, in any team, if you can have uh, very little uh, difference between your worst and your best players, then... Uh, you're going some ways to, to producing a successful outfit and that's what we want to be. We have um, had two uh, fifth place finishes in, in the uh, in the Magnus or the Rabo Direct League now and um, uh, with the squad we have it's probably not good enough and we have to understand that as a as a coaching group and as a playing group that we need to be challenging in those playoff places both in our domestic competition and in Europe. One last question, Simon, and hopefully you're going to get a bit of a break before summer. It's going to be a busy summer for you, but a little bit about this place, the crowds. Obviously, crowds have increased. Season tickets are going really well. We had an average attendance of over 9,000, which was third in the league last season. Things are starting to really build here as well at Parker Scarlet. They are, and, and um, what we need to do is continue that, that hard work off the pitch. Um, but ultimately, um, for people to come and watch and to come week after week and, and pay their hard-earned money, we need to give them something to, to come and watch and produce um, a style of rugby and a winning formula and, and that ultimately is, is our goal. You know, we, we can control some things in, in life and one thing that I feel is in our control as a, as a coaching group and a playing group is how we perform and 
if we get that right then hopefully we'll give a lot of these West Walians uh, something to shout about and we'll be successful in winning silverware in the future. Well we look forward to that Simon, congratulations from everyone and we'll speak to you again at the early part of the season. Cheers, thank you.